Hi everybody, welcome to today's new series of dealing videos. I'm Alan Jones, I'm in charge of consumer products here in the UK, and we're here to introduce a few new products which you can see in front of us. Hello, and I'm Sophie and I do PR for dealing, and we are announcing these fabulous new products which are the R32 and the M32 mesh router systems, and they're part of the Eagle Pro range, and we're super excited because they're even better than the last ones. Always, always super excited. Yeah, the last um, the last video we did, we introduced the R15 mm. selection. Yeah. So the, the the R stands for router, the 15 stands for the speed. Okay. In the case of these, these devices are all Wi-Fi 6. Yeah. Um, and then the 15 stands for AX 1500. So right. So the dual speed is 1500. These bad boys are AX 3200. So this is the M32 mesh. We've got the three routers here. Three nodes. And this is the R32 router. So as I said, all Wi-Fi 6, AX 3200. Right. So they are more than double the speed of, of, of the r And you can see they are also a lot bigger, which I mean, I like. I mean, and because they're white, they look cool, so it's fine. But I like the fact they're a little bit chunkier and a bit more durable. Yeah. that's. Probably Quality. down to them having more processing power, more bits within them to make sure that you can maintain the, the super fast yeah. signal and everything else. Super. Um, if we if we pick up the R32, for instance, on the back here, um, you'll see that there's four um, gigabit Ethernet slots compared to the three that were on the R15, so uh, giving okay. you back that extra slot. Great. And it all adds a little bit of weight yeah. to, to what becomes a slightly slightly chunkier um, chunkier product there. So, so, so in terms of the kind of people who are going to be buying these in comparison to perhaps the last products, who is the audience for these products, Alan? Well, I, I, I would suggest that um, um, the R15s are probably an entry okay. level product. So yeah. whereas... Um, all products within the Equal Pro range allow you to connect up to 128 devices. Obviously, you you have an AX1500 speed divided between those devices yeah. versus an AX3200 speed divided between those devices. So right, these okay. will allow every device to have more speed. Okay, great. I would I would I would suggest that we would aim these at larger households. Okay. Um, the M32s in particular will have a bigger coverage area, so, yeah. so up to 8,000 square feet on right. the free version. Um, that will allow you to, if you live in a three-story home, for instance, one, two, three yeah. on each floor. Brilliant. Each one will, will, will amplify the signal, making sure that your, your house is fully covered. Okay. In the case of the R32, you can still have it in a three-story home, have this router on the ground floor where your internet comes in and then buy two E15 extenders yeah. uh, through the rest of your house. So these don't work together as a system? Yes, do do? Yeah. everything within the Eagle Pro system is designed Fantastic. to work together. So if you would like, you can have the e uh, the R32 as the gateway. Yeah. So this would be where the signal would come in. Yeah. And then this, these three could be repeaters off of the back of this system. Brilliant. Okay. So there's multiple modes, ways of connection, four different ways of connection. We won't go into that video today, but we have done in our more in-depth webinars about these products in the past. Quick question: uh, Are these better than getting a Wi-Fi extender, for example? A hundred percent. Okay. Yes. Great. Meshes probably second best to wiring up right. your product or proper business grade access points. What Mesh allows you to do, and I think we've talked about this in the past, so if it's something that you've experienced and yeah. other people have experienced, is that Mesh broadcasts one single SSID across your whole house. So your whole house is covered by the same signal. Right. And each of these devices has something on them called smart steering. Okay. So you're downstairs, you're on a call with your boss and the kids come home from school. Yeah. And like, I've got to go up to the third floor. Yeah. Because Happy I've got to get time. away from the noise. Mm -hmm. So you walk up the stairs, you connect to the second node, you carry up on to the third floor, you connect to the third node. And that will do that automatically. It will automatically switch you between the pieces. And what will happen is when you get up to the top, you haven't disconnected from the call. So your boss isn't shouting down the line, Sophie, where are you? You've disappeared from the call. This is because brilliant. The, the, the system, the S, single SSID is broadcast around the house, whereas if you use an extender... It, you have to actually change the Wi-Fi. Yes. And but, that drives you crazy because but, then you go out. In the case of using the R32 and the extender, 
it's all the same SSID as well. So that's why this whole system works together. Even if you use the router and the mesh, it's all still just one network. That's so good. So that's, that, that's the beauty of the, the Eagle Pro system and why everything works together so well to give you a seamless signal everywhere. That is absolutely brilliant. And, and in terms of setting this up and where to set, sort of put them in the house, is it all quite easy in terms of installation? Um, we've, we've done a few videos. We've done a few videos in the past. We've talked about router placement and antenna placement. Yeah. Um, we can play around with, with the antennas here. So what we always yeah. say is point the antennas in the, in the direction in which you want the signal to go. Okay. So in the case of, of, of this device, if this device is central in your home, mm. then think about each antenna as broadcasting a signal as a donut. So the donut would be around the top of the antenna, so and it would broadcast up. that way, yeah. that way, that way, and that way. Okay, right. Upwards is the best way to keep them. If you push the antenna down flat, such as that, the donut is a different shape. So the, the signal is now being broadcast in that direction and that direction not the direction in, in which it's pointing so much. I see. So we recommend that if, for instance, this is in the center of your house, this is probably the perfect solution. Brilliant. If, it's, if your front room, like my lounge, is towards the, um, the left side of the house, then you can tilt them slightly okay. in, in that direction. If you need the signal to go forward, tilt them slightly forward, but don't adjust them massive amounts don't put them flat don't don't do things like that I because see. that will, will affect so sort of the best signal is if you can put the router in the center of the house and, and have the antennas in a sort of upwards. situation similar to that upwards think about the donut on top. i'm thinking of the donut i love it i mean the, <laughs> the, the systems all come with this quick start guide don't they? yes so it's yes. super easy it's literally like plug in the power plug in yeah. the power yeah turn on the power Turn on the back. Yep, plug in, plug into the back of the system there. You've got um, uh, plug in your internet into the LAN port, which is marked in yellow yep. on, on the back there. Turn the unit on, um, and then you've got your um, quick start guide here, which has a QR code. QR code on the back. Fantastic. Scan the QR code, and it will install the Eagle Pro app on Brilliant. your phone. Brilliant. Brilliant. And then that will run you through the rest of the process. And um, it takes five minutes. Well. <sighs> It, it, it depends. The whole the whole thing can be complete in about 30 seconds. Right. But it depends on whether there's a new firmware release or not. So the system might update the firmware. It depends how far away you've bought this from Fine. when it's released. But pretty so. much, this is this is foolproof, right? This yes. is something anyone yes. can do. It's literally been made for yeah. anyone to be able to do. And we've also got a set of instructions if you don't want to use the Eagle Pro app. Um, they come in every box. That is just an option for maybe a more advanced user who doesn't want to use the app. They can set it up themselves. Just thinking, because I think sometimes people don't buy routers because they think it's complicated getting rid of their old <laughs> one and getting a new one, right? I'm yeah. probably one of those people. I'd be like, oh God, no, it works. Why would I change it? Mm. Also, there's loads of cables and I don't know what to do. Yeah. Literally, they would just have to get their old router, unplug it, yep. and plug that in well, with instructions. It, it depends because a lot of ISPs now are doing modem and routers in one combined unit okay. and in that case it's slightly more complicated but it's still very very easy okay. so if this was your um, or this was your um, ISP modem slash router you would leave it plugged in you'd leave it on but what you would do is you would put it into modem only mode right how and do what, you do that uh, well, it, it depends on the on the, on, on, on the system that you have, but it's very very easy. You should have a modem only mode on every every device. Okay, fine. Um, unless your ISP has restricted that, but in that case, this device becomes a modem. So that okay. would just sit there, and then you literally just plug an RJ forty five cable or a Cat five cable into the back, and this would become the router. This right. stays as the modem. Okay, fine. Mm. That's great. I mean, to me, that that's that's the complicated thing about new, about tech. It's about getting rid of the old and getting yeah. the new. And I think that that's why people generally don't upgrade their routers. As there, there's so many it. so many videos that will help you out on, yeah. on on YouTube with that kind of thing, talking about your particular ISP. So I'm not going to go through list of right. ISPs, but, but looks, each one each one might be slightly different. But most, it sounds simple. Yeah, most can be most can be disabled and put into modem only mode and then you can use your choice of device brilliant and i have to ask a very important question what are we talking about in terms of cost um the the products are coming soon yes um, so 
Uh, we're, we're looking at um, January for these devices and okay. hopefully we're going to see the M32 sooner than that. Great. So if you need two nodes of the M32, you're looking at about £200. Okay. If you need three nodes, you're looking at about £280. And then with the R32 router, you're looking at about £140. Okay. Um, so if you wanted a combination of R32 routers and extenders that would be slightly cheaper than, than, than using the mesh units. Okay. Um, but all the mesh units are AX3200, whereas if you use this with the extenders, mm. the extenders are AX1500, so it'd be slightly reduced speed. Okay. But still a, a, a great solution and slightly more cost effective. Than, Brilliant, than the fantastic. Other. I mean, is there anything else that we need to go over with this product? I mean, was this, uh, is that kind of it? No, I think that's I think that's pretty much everything. Um, I mean, that's just so interesting, and and I I actually I feel like I'd be more than happy to have these in my house because yeah. they look quite cool, and they feel kind of durable, quite well, good quality, and and they're not black, and they, yeah, they just fit that's in a bit why better. They're these actually look like speakers, right? Yeah, they're designed they're designed to be that speakers, so air spiker. humidifiers. Um, yeah. You know, they've got the. The, the, the grill on the back there. So they're, they're kind of designed to more fit into, if you've got a shelf, you put this yeah. up on the shelf, it doesn't look completely out of place. So no. slotted um, on a um, on a front room piece of furniture, I think they, they, they probably meld into the background a little bit more. I think than, so. Then than maybe the R32, but the R32 is designed um, to be the centralized unit where this, the internet signal comes in. So it's more likely that it will be slightly out of the way. Whereas yeah you need to have these more pride of place. So that's why a lot of work has gone into the design of these, of these units. I think they're great. And available on Amazon? Amazon Amazon.co.uk and any other uh, good retailer out there will, will, will stock these. Like Brilliant. I said, all coming, all coming very soon. Excellent. Okay. I'm really happy. This is brilliant. Thanks for watching. Thanks then. Bye.